Residents, as well as visitors, often remark on the wealth of sculpture to be found in the public areas in the city of Utica. Yet even the most prominently cited public sculptures are likely to provoke question as to who, what, and when. This brief segment will be an ongoing part of City Limits in an attempt to give a comprehensive portrayal of the rich history of our region. The greatest collection of outdoor sculpture in Utica can be found along the parkway. After World War II, the section east of Genesee Street became the Memorial Parkway, commemorating the fallen heroes of the two world wars. On the corner of Genesee Street and the Parkway is the magnificently posed Major General Friedrich Wilhelm Baron von Steuben. Baron von Steuben is locally famous for his heroic contributions during the American Revolution. The larger than life-size bronze figure on a granite base is the work of Swiss-born Jakob Otto Schweizer. Schweizer was trained in Dresden, Germany and immigrated to the United States in 1894. Schweizer would become one of the most prominent sculptures in America, documenting, in bronze, many events of America history. An officer in the Prussian Army, Subban came to America and joined George Washington at Valley Forge in the winter of 1778. Recognized as General George Washington's right-hand man, Subban had the skills and ability to transform a band of farmers into an effective fighting force. Inscribed on the rear plinth are the words, Organizer of the American Army, he gave his sword, his service, and his fortune to the cause of liberty. On August 3, 1914, the Utica German American Alliance dedicated the Parkway Monument. Unforeseen events resulted in a case of classic bad timing. The very day of the dedication of the Steuben Monument, Germany declared war on France, beginning hostilities that would, for the first time, bring Germany and the United States to war. In lieu of financial compensation for his heroic efforts, Steuben received various land grants, including 16,000 acres in what is now the town of Steuben, north of Utica, where he spent the remainder of his life. After the war, von Steuben summered on his land in a two-room log house until his death in 1794. Although in his will he requested an unmarked grave, in 1804 his remains were transferred to what is now known as the Sacred Grove. Today, a plain but large monument marks Baron von Steuben's final resting place. Cool. So very cool. Like in the past, as in present day, war always seems to bring out the best and worst in mankind. When will we learn?